Good morning. As I started to write the prayers for this morning, I was reminded of an introduction to prayer from Lexio 365, which is a daily reading app from the organisation 24-7 Prayer that helps to settle the mind and focus on God as follows. Please join with me. As I enter prayer now, I pause to be still. To breathe slowly. To recenter my scattered senses upon the presence of God. Father, we praise you this morning with some words from Psalm 145. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. Father, we thank you and we praise you for your goodness and your unfailing love and faithfulness. We thank you for your promises and your truths made new to us day by day. Father, we thank you and praise you for the beauty of your creation, for the glorious sunshine and warmth, the sound of birdsong, the blueness of the sky, the gentle breeze, how the trees seem more green than usual, the night sky and stars, revealing heavenly glories that remind us how majestic you are and how small we are. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we join with Christians all around the world today, celebrating Pentecost, the sending of your Holy Spirit to your disciples, the birthday of the church, the fulfilment of Jesus' promise that you would send a special helper, the Holy Spirit, to be with us, to live in us, to guide and direct us. Father, thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you that you do not leave us or abandon us, that we can be filled by your Spirit each day to be empowered to do your will here on earth. Thank you that you do not leave us alone in our own strength to face challenges and difficulties, but your desire is to be within us by your Spirit and you bless us with different gifts and abilities to do your will to build your church, to share your story with others, to live our lives in a way that reflects you, to share words of knowledge and wisdom with others, to pray and have faith, to see the world through your lens, to be one body united in Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for your world. Unshakable God, you are our ever-present help in times of trouble. Amidst all the isolation, grief and fear caused by the coronavirus that has swept across the globe, renew us in your peace, restore us to your perspective and reveal to us your presence. Despite what we see and hear in the news, you are in control. The virus has not caught you by surprise. You are with us all in the midst of this. 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14 says, If my people will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, I will hear from heaven and heal their land. Father, we pray for the healing of our land and your world from this virus. We acknowledge where we have pushed your name away as a nation and as a world, and we are sorry. We welcome you into our hearts and lives afresh today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for all in government and authority at this time. We pray for all who are faced with making decisions that are affecting our daily lives. We ask that you will direct their thoughts, minds and decisions for the greater good. We pray for all our essential workers, those in healthcare and schools who have not stopped since this crisis began. Please come alongside all who are weary and exhausted, all who are emotionally drained. We thank you for their care. We pray especially for our head teachers and schools as primary schools plan to phase a return next week and for Pam and her team at Little Doves Preschool. Father God, we ask your hand of protection over them all and over the children and their families. For wisdom for our head teachers, teachers, staff and parents. Father, we ask for your grace and your comfort to come alongside our young people and all who are struggling with this time. We pray especially for those who would have been sitting GCSE and A-level exams 
for those who would have been completing college and university courses, for those who feel their times of celebrations have been snatched away, for those unsure of how their predicted grades will affect their choices and decisions. Father, we ask for your special blessing, comfort and peace over them, that you will enrich their lives with your plans, that they will not suffer because society as we knew it had to stop, that you have your plans and your promises, that you will lead them to the futures you have prepared for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the reading from John's Gospel this morning, I was struck by the fact that Jesus knew his disciples were gathered together, locked away in fear, and they didn't have to do anything. Jesus came to them in their fear and said, Peace be with you, and assured them of who he was, and repeated, Peace be with you. Father, thank you that in our time of deepest fears, whether we cry out to you or not, you know how we are feeling, you hear us, and you are here with us. We pray for all who need your comforting presence and your words of peace, for all who are suffering in body, mind and spirit, for those who are sick and suffering, for those who are lonely, for those who are grieving the loss of a loved one, for those who are scared or living in unsafe situations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as our time of intercession draws to a close, we thank you for this time spent with you. We thank you for hearing our prayers and as the disciples join together constantly in prayer, waiting for your gift of the Holy Spirit, we join our prayers together and lift them to you this morning. Merciful Lord, please accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, our Lord.